We're joined now by Jennifer Lesh, the CEC president. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm so, I'm so pleased to be here. Great. We're happy to have you. So our first question is, what is the value of division membership? Division membership really makes CEC special. There are 18 different divisions in Council for Exceptional Children, and you can find your home in any one of those divisions, from Division of Autism and Developmental Disabilities for, uh, to Council for Administrators of Special Education, to the Council for Emotional Behavior Disorders. There is a place for all special educators in the 18 divisions, and it really allows you to kind of uh, drill down and hone into your specialty and find like-minded folks that to have uh, solution-oriented conversations and networking. Um, it really adds a major value to your Council for Exceptional Children membership. What support does the CEC offer for its student members? That's my passion. For, for me, this, I, this, I'm at the pinnacle of my career and um, I am in my fifth year uh, working uh, with teacher prep. CEC is such a, a major wealth of evidence-based practices and knowledgeable professionals that you can hone into. We have the CEC community that students can ask questions. Every day I go on there and look and see and there are students asking, can you help me with this? Can you help me? I have a child in my class that, that, that's doing whatever is there suggestions and so many professionals are, they jump on board and just give you know one or two lines or paragraphs of solutions for for people and so that's one piece another piece is with the pioneer division has been for for a while now uh, they have a mentoring program which is wonderful so you you have um, access to these um, professionals that been, have been in special education for for some for decades and some for as, as little as 10 years so we are we are here for all members um, but my personal focus this year as president is to really work with those early career professionals and those pre-service teachers. So I'm looking forward to it. What should members be excited about um, as far as the direction in which the CEC is moving? Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know how much I can tell here. But tell it all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first of all, I have to say, we just hired Chad Rummel, and he is absolutely amazing. Uh, we are actually doing some tours later today, and we started some last night, and everywhere we have gone, he is just uh, folks are jazzed about his knowledge, his expertise, um, his association expertise. Uh, he's very techy. Uh, we, we're going to do some revamping on our website, some rebranding of our, our name, and really move us so that we can actually help uh, those early career and uh, pre-service teachers. Uh, the website is being redone. He's promising to have it ready to go by the beginning of the school year. and. Um, we are really amping up our policy and advocacy uh, so that we have a uh, voice on the hill and we have tentacles at the state level and, and below. So uh, we are really working on our three pillars and Chad, he's been here four weeks now and he really has a pulse of what we need to do. So he, as soon as this convention is over, he's hitting the ground running with all of these ideas that he has going. So it's very exciting. Wow, well it sounds like you made some real headway in your role as president this year. It's very exciting. Is there anything else that you're looking to tackle before your term is over? Well, uh, well, I definitely want to put an emphasis on pre-service teachers and early career teachers because over 48 states have shortages of special education teachers. And they, special education teachers leave the field at a much faster rate than their general education counterparts. So I really want to help us close that gap and elevate our profession because we are special and we do work with so many different students. All of our exceptional uh, children and youth um, deserve a qualified special educator. And so um, I, my goal is to really elevate our profession and really emphasis and an emphasis with our pre-service and early career professionals. Well, Jennifer Lesh, thank you so much for your time. Thank we you. Sure appreciate it.